<coughs> Here we go, back again with another match day preview. Yes, another match day preview, not the last match day preview. Another match day preview. I'm feeling confident about that one. And Sunderland are travelling to Preston. But before, yes, before we get onto the preview, I do have another bloody shirt. <laughs> another shirt. I've been in the post today. They're, they're coming through the post thick and fast, left, right and centre. And yes, it was Gary Dunn who has won the shirt I posted today, Gary, it's in the post today, Gary, the Arsenal shirt. Gary Dunn won the Arsenal shirt. Well done, Gary Dunn, winning the Arsenal shirt. Now, the Sunderland one up there, the blue one, that one, the small, is still up for grabs. But also, this shirt from LU Soccer. And, you know, if you don't want to see this being unwrapped and looked at this beautiful, wonderful shirt, you can buy. No, you can get for free. Sorry, not buy. Get for free. Win on this competition. Win on this channel. Yes. Do I even know what I'm talking about? I don't think I do half the time. But anyway, I'm pure. This is only water. Definitely only water. So, LU Soccer have been kindly donated this wonderful shirt for me to keep. I'm giving it to a subscriber on the channel for the last game of the season. Yes, last game of the season, Preston North End versus Sunderland. Now, Preston North End, before we get into un un unveiling this, Preston North End were founded as a cricket club. Yes, back in 1862, and they were named as the Preston Nelson but then it changed to Preston North End back in 1875. Right, LU Soccer, good quality shirts. Let's see what you can win on... Oh. I've already had a yellow one before. I've had a Brazil one before. What other clubs? Oh. What other clubs have yellow shirt? A yellow shirt? What shirt do you think this is? Oh, right. Hey. Well, you can win this on the final game of the season against Preston North End. All you have to do is get the correct score with the correct goal scorers. But if you're the only person to get the correct score, you win it outright. If you're the only person to get the correct goal scorers, then you trump those who only get the correct score. And this is what it is. It is... Well, this is a bit different, this one. Can you guess what it is? Can anybody guess what it is? Who has a shirt like this? I tell you what, it's this nice quality again. It is a large, I think. Yes, it's a large, a large. There we have it. Red Bull, New, New, New York Red Bulls. The New York Red Bulls shirt. New York, American, USA, New, New, New York. New York, New York, so good to name it twice. New York, New York. There we go. The place to be. New York, Central Park, Central Perk, home of friends. New York, Red Bulls. New York, Red Bulls. It is a good quality shirt. It has the, the Adidas. It is an Adidas shirt. And again, it does have the badge stitched in in two places. Good quality shirts. You can get good quality shirts. I have a link down below in the description. LU Soccer. Thank you for this free shirt. Absolutely superb free shirt. Nice large one. It is yellow and green. And, and look, it has mixtures all over it. And it has got New York written more than twice on the shirt. So there we go. Nice quality shirt for you to win on the correct score. So there we go. Quality shirt. There is other shirts you can purchase on on there from all over the world. Different clubs, different countries. LU Soccer. They sell also. They sell shoes. They sell shirts, t-shirts, all sorts of track suits, all sorts of wear. You can all sorts of sports gear you can wear. And it is good quality, reasonable price. It's a replica shirt, but it's a nice replica shirt from LU Soccer. So there we go. You can win that with the correct score against Preston. At the weekend, well, Bank Holiday Monday. It's on a Bank Holiday Monday, yes, because of the combination. Bank Holiday Monday. Now, Preston North End, the Lily Whites, and do you know who? Do you know who decided to 
to, to have white shirts the same as Preston were, were founded sort of the white shirt regime. Spurs, Spurs were so intrigued and, and, and so sort of, oh, what's the word? You know, Spurs were sort of inspired by Preston, inspired by Preston that they went to the white strip as well and lots of other teams decided to play in white. So Preston, yes, inspired, inspired Spurs. And that's, you know, one of those things. So yes, deep deal. The ground where the Sunderland fans will be going. I can't, I haven't got a figure on it yet. Between the eight, five and eight thousand fans are going to Preston. Deep deal. It only holds 23,000. We're going to have a third of them fans are going to be Sunderland fans. Now, Preston have been in great. They've had a good season. There's no doubt about it. Preston have had a really good season. I think they've done better than anyone can really really imagine this season they've only faded away over the last few games now they were formed back in 1880 143 years young and obviously the called lily whites deep deal was built it's an old one deep deal it was built back in 1875 and it was opened back in 1878 and preston have spent their entire life at deep deal which is pretty good to be fair and like i said 23,000. Rob Law, yes, Rob Law is the man, no, not Rob Law, Ryan Law is the manager of Preston. He's only 44 years of age and he's played 75, but he's managed 75, he's won 29, he's drawn 21, and he's lost 25 at Deep Deal. Now, the last few games have sort of, the wheels have come off. They got smashed against Sheffield United last time of 4 1. The Drew against Blackburn, last minute, last grasp, derby match. Equaliser, they got beat of Swansea 4 2 and they lost to Millwall 2 0. So they have, you know, they were right up there in the mix above Sunderland at one point to get in the playoffs, but they fell away, they faded badly. So Preston, gonna be a tough game down there, a real tough game, but Sunderland's form is better, better away than at home. Now, keeper. Freddie Woodman used to be at Newcastle. Now he's at Preston. Troy Parrott, he's played 29 for Preston. He scored three goals. Sunderland were interested in him a couple of seasons ago. Sunderland were interested in him a couple of seasons ago. Tom Cannon, yes. 17 games, eight goals. The low knee on loan from Everton, the young lad. And Daniel Johnson on the other end of the spectrum. 301 games he's played for Preston and he scored 53 goals. And like I said before, Spurs were inspired by Preston. Now, the oldest pub in Lancashire, the oldest pub in Lancashire, Preston. It is, it, it's widely to believe this is the oldest pub in Preston, in Lancashire. It isn't Preston. It is the plough, the plough at Eves. It dates back to 16. 25. So there we go. Anybody from Preston, if you've been drinking in the plough, is it a lovely old traditional pub? 1625 that opened. Now, I know what you're thinking. You always do think this, don't you? You want to know why Preston was named Preston. Well, Preston was named Preston because the name derived from Priest's Town. It was a very religious settlement of, of Gadgies who, who first moved to Preston. And they were, they were in the religious, so they called it Priest's Town. But then later on, it moved and turned to Preston. And the marketplace there is over a thousand years old, thousand years old. Now the head, the heads were Preston. We've won 53, we've drawn 34, we've lost 34. And the last time we haven't, we haven't won, we haven't beaten Preston on the last seven occasions so the record isn't great last time we beat Preston was back in 2004 when Stephen Elliott scored a brace so there we go it's going to be a difficult game now let's look at the table let's look at the table here is the table as it stands right now with the games left to play Coventry in the driving seat 69 points plus 12 Millwall second in the driving seat 68 points Plus eight. And the Sunderland, right? Sunderland on 66 and plus 10. Now, I'm not even going to worry about Westbourne and Blackburn. For the simple fact, if we take care of business, I cannot see for the life of me Blackburn scoring 15 goals to be jumping above Sunderland. If we take care of a business. And I said before, it will not be easy. It's going to be a really tough game down at Deep Dale. Preston are a strong, solid side. Should not be taken lightly. They're really good at home and they've got a good team and they've got nothing to play for now. So either they're going to be on the beach, drinking San Miguel's, or 
They're going to have a free, free the mind and really play some entertaining football for their home fans who have done them proud this season. So there we go. And West Brom. Now, West Brom are way at the Swansea. They've got to score, I think, something like four or five goals more than what Sunderland do. So I, I kind of say them going to Swansea winning 4 0, winning 5 1, winning 4 5 0. You know, for me, it, it's too much on West Brom's players. But there's always a chance. So for me, them two, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be bold and I'm going to wipe these two off the board. There we go. I may live to regret this, but I'm going to say that I don't think those two, for me, and I'm only saying this, right? West Brom may well do it. Blackburn may well do it. But if Sunderland win, I cannot see them two jumping above Sunderland. That's just my opinion. I cannot see. That's the only reason why I've taken West Brom and Blackburn off the board. Because if Sunderland win, I cannot see them two getting the results they need to jump above Sunderland. So there we go. They might get the playoffs, but only if Sunderland can beat Preston. Now, then that leaves two games. We've got rid of Swansea West Brom. I think Swansea might even do the business against West Brom. Millwall versus Blackburn. That's the reason why I was praying for a 1 1 draw. This now gives Blackburn an opportunity, a chance, a sniff, a little squeak of a chance to get the playoffs. But Blackburn needs Sunderland not to win. They need West Brom not to win. And they've got a chance. Now, Millwall, because if they beat Millwall, they will jump above Millwall into the playoffs. But only if Sunderland don't win and West Brom don't win. That's the reason why I wiped Blackburn off there, because I wish them all the best. Same as West Brom. But we have to take care of business. Now, in my mind, I'm feeling confident. I've got, I don't know. There's something about this season. There really is something about this season. I think it's, I can smell something really special about this season so there we go so if we can beat Preston tough game well I think I've got a feeling Blackburn will do the business against Millwall or at least get a draw and then Coventry got to go to Berra Berra in awful form Berra are in dire straits going into the playoffs Luton I had something about Luton in the playoffs as well I just don't see them getting promoted to the Premier League now I really do think the team that sneaks there's always one team that sneaks and charges up the table and just sneaks into the playoffs. And that the team, that's the team that does really well. Now, Middlesbrough, form, not good. They need to bounce back with a victory this weekend to really get into that playoff. To get into the playoffs, really, in the right frame of mind, they've got to beat Coventry this weekend. And that is the, the, the thing about Coventry. Coventry may well get beat. They may well get beat. But if they get beat 1-0... And West Brim only, only win by two, and Blackburn win by ten. They still be in the playoffs. So for me, there's something about I think Middlesbrough will game. I think I think Middlesbrough will beat Middlesbrough will beat Coventry. That's 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 what I think. I think Middlesbrough will beat. Coventry. I'm going to go for two one to Middlesbrough. I'm going to go for two one to Blackburn. I'm going to go for two one to West Brom. Take a note of these two ones, man. And then we come to the Preston game. Sunderland versus Preston. It is a massive match. A massive match. Now, I need to believe there's going to be no, no, no change. No change in the team selections on Monday. Now, that doesn't mean there could be players coming off the bench to start. Just There's going to be no extra added people into the team. So, Ballard for me, even though he's trained one day, he's mistraining today. I can't see Ballard start not even being on the bench for the for the press. I think it's too soon. Playoffs possibility. He didn't train today, Ballard, but he trained yesterday. So he's getting there. But I wish him all the best. He's getting back. I think the playoffs is the best we can hope for Ballard. Now team selection. I would just stick with the same team as we did against. Now would he stick with the same team or would he bring in Mishute for Equa? Oh, you tell me. What's your thoughts on the team? What do we do? Do we stick with the same team as we did against Watford? But have it so when we play away, this team can shine better away from home. Preston will have more of the ball against Sunderland. Sunderland can count them on, get them on the counter-attack. Whereas at home to Watford, the team didn't really know. They were slow, didn't really know. It wasn't until we went two goals down that they really got to kick up the arse and fucking walk up to really go at Watford Sunderland players. Now, I think... 
different way around like we do against West Brom. Preston will come out and keep the ball and be in our faces for the first five minutes and that will give us time to get warmed up and then we will take the game to them. So I do fancy a victory. Now, scores on the doors. I said keep this 2-1 two, two, frame of mind. I am going to go for Preston nil. Sunderland 2, never mind the two ones, clean sheet, no squeaky bum time, 2 nil. I really fancy, it. like I said before, I really fancy our chances to make it into the playoffs, I really do, I touch wood, I hope we can. If we don't, it's been an amazing season anyway, well done Tony Mowbray, you deserve another season next season, well done to the young lads, done really well this season. Personally, I don't think I'd make any changes to the team against Preston. The only one that I think Tony Mowbray might do is bring in possibly Mishute. And I think, I think Pritchard's better off on the bench for this moment. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your score predictions down below. Leave them score predictions down below. If you want a chance to win a Red Bull, a New York Red Bull shirt. It is an absolute nice shirt. You can see yourself out in the pub wearing this. Getting a couple of pints, there you go. I, I can see people out there, you know, out in the pub drinking in the sun or down the beach, walking down the beach, down the down the promenade, wearing the Red Bull New York shirt. There you go. So enjoy that. I hope you get the score correct. Again, you've got to get the score prediction. If you get the scorer and the scorers, the correct score and the scorers, and you the only one to do it, you win, win it outright. But if there's a few of these with the same scores goes into a hat. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Take care. Please subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't even know I had another channel called Mads Out and About, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Pop over to Mads Out and About. Look at some videos of running around different places. Take care. I will be doing the live stream. I will be doing the live stream at Wincy's Bar and Tavern. Yes, Wincy's Bar and Tavern. Live stream Monday, three o'clock. Wincy's Bar and Tavern. Something Edible to be eaten in Wincy's Bar and Tavern and plenty to drink. And well, hopefully we're going to be, oh, I'll tell you what it is. We've got a good record in Wincy's Bar and Tavern. The last time we were there will be Sheffield Wednesday in the playoff semi-finals. Remember that one? All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.